Hello, I pray that you are well today. What do you do when you have circumstances? When you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in, when your day seems loud, is your day loud? Are the things happening to you, gathering your attention, holding on to it? What do you do? I encourage you to consider some scriptures. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Psalm 63, verses 6, 7, and 8. Do you ever find yourself waking up in the middle of the night thinking, well, what day is it? What time is it? How many more hours do I get to sleep? How does that work? And so I, I say to you, in the middle of your circumstance, know that God's grace is sufficient for you, that his power is made perfect in your weakness. Have you come against a circumstance that you don't have enough information for, enough strength for, enough energy for, enough patience for? God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is enough for you, that his power is made perfect in the middle of your weakness. He writes in Romans chapter 8, verse 25, but if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Do you want to be out of the circumstance you're in right now? And you want to be in a new circumstance? You want something to change? It says, but you will weep no more. How gracious will he be when you cry for help? As soon as he hears, he will answer you. Isaiah 30, 19. Whatever circumstance you find yourself in today, God says, pray through your circumstance. Pray through your weakness. Pray through your inability. Pray for, through your need for help, in fact. And then Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more all than we ask or imagine, according to his power that work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. God is with you. He's able to do far more than you ask or think. The sum of the circumstances you find yourself in are overpowering, but God's grace is sufficient in the midst of your weakness. In the midst of what you don't have, God has. May you and I pray through the circumstances of our life, the things we don't want and the things we do want. But God wants you to know that he's enough when you're not enough. He's strong when you're weak. He's wise when you have questions. He's present with you. Let's pray. Dear God, you know the circumstances of our lives right now. May we bring them before you again today. We give you thanks that you are never worn out when we're worn out. You're never exhausted when we're exhausted. You're never exasperated when we're exasperated. You are the one who loves us fully and completely, constantly. May you give to us precisely what we need today, that your grace is sufficient, that your power is made perfect in our weakness. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. I pray that you know and you believe that no matter what circumstance you have in your life, God is with you and his grace is sufficient for you. God bless you. God be with you.